Hey everyone, the real Sisex here, giving you a walkthrough on Alien Isolation on PlayStation 4. This is Mission 4 Seeks in Communications. Now, to start off, uh, just grab this map update and you'll just walk up here and if you like, talk to this guy and just the dialogue. What? After that, no walk down this place. hallway here. You can mess with the rewire boxes if you like. Uh, I don't really need to, so I just don't use them. They can be helpful, but uh, your choice. Let's continue down this hallway. You'll come across a couple androids that are friendly for right now. Can I help you? I need to get into um, You can stop and talk to that guy, listen to some dialogue if you like. We're just going to keep going for the sake of the walk. And you'll come to this room here where you pick up your motion tracker. Very important item. Some kind of tracker. It's been modified. And once you get your motion tracker, you can search around the room for some items. No, no problem. Ultimately, you'll want to use the computer here in this room. That one right there. this computer and go down to utility and open the door. Walk outside, hang a left through the door you just opened and head upstairs. There's a save point here. You can uh, save if you like. After you save, go through the store, turn left and take off that door brace. Once you do, there are a couple items inside, and you go down this hallway, and on the table is going to be a schematic for a noisemaker. Very important. It's the one item I use over just about everything else other than a med kit. Don't really need a pipe bomb, don't really need a mauled off cocktail, and EMPs do come in handy, but you use those around the same time you use them all of cocktails later down the way but uh, for now just uh, build yourself a couple of noisemakers as many as you can and head over to this guy you can sit and chat with them if you like uh, these, th Let these me in. things drop out some items here you can grab those and this guy just Basically, tells you you can't come in. There's gotta be another way inside. You can use times like these with dialogue to uh, craft. Crafting is good. Once you're done, you'll want to go down the stairs here and go through this door with your security access tuner. Get through the door and you scrounge around for a couple items and head through the vent there on the wall. And once you come out of the vent, you'll be here. And once you pass through the vent, a little event happens where androids are no longer friendly. You'll see that they just killed that guy there. Come into this room, grab the bonding agent or whatever item is there for you, and use this box, this room wire box here. You'll want to disable the camera feed. And head back on over to the elevator and call the elevator and you can crouch and hide right there until the elevator shows up elevator comes in hit the button you'll be here get that map update turn around come upstairs don't worry about saving right now just want to come upstairs and hit the button on this console up here Once you hit that, you can now go back downstairs and save. That's just great. Hit that save point. Gotta be someone on the station I can contact. A 
Okay, there are androids in this area. So now that we're saved, walk here to the main room. Head right over here and grab that container, as well as get into the floor vent. Pop out right here. There's the android in front of you. Just keep going. Don't worry about him. Stay low. Just keep moving. There's an item on that table. If you want to grab it, grab it. Just keep moving. Stick right here down the stairs and through this hallway. And big surprise, stick to your right. Just keep sticking to your right. And you'll run into another android up here. Just keep crouching and you'll be good. You're essentially going to follow him. Stick right through this door and there he is straight ahead. Just keep following him. There's a dead android straight ahead. Well, who's playing dead? He'll grab you, so be careful if you're gonna go venture off into that area. But mainly, you just want to stick to following this android. Grab the map update if you like. And you're going into that room right there. But you can follow him into that room and hide behind a desk, or you can take this vent here and go into this room. Now I messed up in this room, so this is a cutting from two separate playthroughs. Um, but once you get into this room, you want to hide and wait for the android to leave. You can There's a window, so you can be safe and stay out of sight and keep your eye on that door and wait for him to leave. Then you mess with this box. Once he's gone, you mess with this box. Uh, I open the door, leave that uh, leave that first room door. Don't open that first room, but you want to open up that second room on that access panel. Now that the door's open and the android is uh, gone, come over into this room here. Don't save quite yet, and grab the EMP schematic. Very important item. You can craft a few of those right now if you like. Uh, for the sake of the walkthrough, we're just going to proceed forward. Now, once you use those monitors, there's three monitors to use once you get through those puzzles. Come over to this room and save immediately. Because two androids are coming to your location right now. So now that you're saved, turn around and head into this vent. Take this vent through and we will be in the room that used to have a locked door that we opened. And that access panel. You can hide here and wait for the androids to leave, but I like to get behind this desk here. This is a good spot. And just wait for them to leave. Uh, make sure you wait for the second one. I did a little cutting right there. Uh, instead of just doing a whole bunch of waiting and watching, uh, that was the second android that passed through the door. So when the first one goes through, don't go. Wait for that second android to go through the doorway, then follow him back the way he came. So if you do that and you're behind this android, you should be behind this android, and you should with luck on your side, that android up there should be looking that way and you just cross. You just keep moving. And that android will stop up there and you just keep moving. We're just essentially taking the route back the way we came because that's the safest route. That's what got us here. That's what's going to get us back. Now, I, uh, typically I keep going, but I did stop and wait here just to make sure that android up there was on his way out. And make sure that this android in this room turns around and goes the other way. Typically, this is what you just want to do through the whole game. Just 
take your moments of opportunity and just make sure the coast is clear when you make your move and when you make your move just trust it and just go so now that we're out of that room just keep going and I did mess up and I got spotted here so um, but still, I went the exact same way as you do, just keep calm even if you get spotted and go into the event. And um, again, I had to do some cutting because I had to sit and wait here for a while, wait for him to go away. But uh, typically you want to sit in the vent and wait for one android to pass by. He'll be passing by where we're walking right now. Once he's passed, you can climb up out of the vent and come here to the elevator. Don't worry about saving, just take the elevator. Now after some cutting, you'll and loading, you'll go through the elevator and you'll end up here in this hallway. Just walk all the way forward and right about here, crouch. There's an android in this booth, you just want to sneak past him. He'll be going the other way. And once you get down the stairs, you can stand up and proceed to the next save point and save. We are now on the last stretch of this mission. So the save point serves as your last buffer for your final getaway. And we're going to go downstairs to where all these friendly androids are now hostile. So be careful. And just what we're going to do here is we're just going to sneak past and use the tech my favorite technique of, and favorite tool, of using a couple flares to get by. I did mess up on this mission quite a lot, and there is another mess up to come, so just bear with the gameplay here, but typically if you just stick to these techniques and avoid my mistakes, you'll get through this very easily and stealthily. Can of course always blast your way through if you have enough ammo and ammunition, but um, that draws the alien sometimes, and the alien does not kill androids and like humans. So I went ahead and popped a flare and just chucked it there to gain some distraction. And just continue this way. Go up here and check. Make sure everyone's on the move, and don't make the mistake I did here of once that guy passes, go, because there is a second android here. So, he caught me and does a little damage to me. So, if you get caught in a situation like this, I just went for it, I just ran. Uh, the alien is not going to come at this point, I'm pretty sure. So, I just ran and run straight to the elevator. Androids are very slow, they don't run. And once you through some loading, elevator time, you'll end up here back in this lobby. Just make your way straight ahead, stick to the left, not the right. There's a downed android to the right, he will grab you and do some more damage. I did take the time to use a med kit and heal before I made my way out of the elevator. But just proceed through this main lobby, straight ahead, through the main doors, and make your way here to the transit station and this is a uh, end of mission the alien can come in this room so just uh, don't run walk just stay at your normal walking pace walking is typically quiet it doesn't make too much noise they only uh, hear your walking if they're within feet now once you get here you don't need to call the tram it will be on its way you just need to wait for the doors to open and get on and that's it. That's all there is to this mission. This was Mission 4 Encounters. And if you like this video and would like some more help, stay tuned for Mission 5. This is an Alien Isolation walkthrough. I am the real Psy6. You can catch me on Twitch at night around 10 p.m. Pacific. Follow me on Twitter if you like. If you like the video, give a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.